Hi, Tim Millard here, host of the Yuxers podcast, and recently George Feldstein of the Warner Archive came back on the show to talk about two new May releases on Blu-ray from the Warner Archive. I'm just going to summarize our discussion here and take you through these two films and some of the restoration that went into those. That way you'll have the information you need to know if you want to purchase these films. So I'll run through these fairly quickly. And the first film we're going to talk about is Border Incident. Now, Border Incident is a 1949 crime thriller starring Ricardo Montalban, George Murphy, and Ward Da Silva. The story revolves around two border agents, one Mexican, one American, and the smuggling of Mexican migrant workers across the border. The film was shot by acclaimed cinematographer John Alton and is directed by Anthony Mann, both renowned for their noir films. One interesting thing to note is that this film originated as an Eagle Lion production before it moved over to MGM, where it went from being, you know, what would have been a B-movie at Eagle Lion to a definite A noir thriller with the talent that MGM brought to the table. And this new Blu-ray is from a new 4K scan off of preservation elements, so it looks and sounds terrific. The second film we're going to talk about is Clash by Night. Now, Clash by Night is a 1952 film noir directed by the iconic Fritz Lang, and it stars Barbara Stanwyck, Paul Douglas, Robert Ryan, and Marilyn Monroe. The story is set in a fishing town and revolves around an unhappily married woman played by Stanwyck who has an affair with the Robert Ryan character. There is another couple in the story, and that's played by Marilyn Monroe and Keith Andes, who is Stanwyck's brother in the film. Monroe was on loan from Fox for this film, and this was right before the scandal of the nude calendar photo surfaced, and she does a terrific job in this film. The cinematographer of this film is a man synonymous with the noir style, Nicholas Musaraka, so this film really looks terrific. And speaking of that, this new Blu-ray is taken from a 4K scan and is a tremendous improvement over the previous DVD release, so it is well worth the upgrade. So there you have it, the two new releases from the Warner Archive for May. We just ran through them real briefly, but I will be posting more updates, pre-orders, and things of that nature on the channel. And George is going to come back and we're going to do some in-depth podcast talking about the April titles, these two May titles. And by the way, this is only part one of the May releases. There's going to be more coming in May, so I'll have another announcement video for those as well. And for those of you interested in Looney Tunes, we did have an announcement for a brand new Looney Tunes title called Collector's Choice Volume 1. And I posted a video about that, so look for that on our channel as well. And there, animation historian Jerry Beck joined the podcast to talk about the 20 releases that are part of that. And we didn't get into the specific releases. It was just an announcement podcast. But if you're interested in that release, Check it out as that is the most recent information that's been made available on that release. So that will also be coming out in May. So it's going to be a very busy month for the Warner Archive. And again, if you subscribe, you'll get all the information delivered right to you so that you don't miss any of that. Thanks for watching.